Akodama Drive Episode 3. Kaya pala Mission Impossible na title ng episode na to. I thought they I thought they were gonna make it. Okay? Yung it was the most hair racing moment of the episode. Kasi dapat yung dalawang buttons na gano from the ceiling at saka yung sa basement basement saka yung uh at yung top floor kailangan sabay sabay mapindot yon para magbukas yung elevator para makapasok din sila. They managed to pull it off, alright? In, wow, in the most hair-raising way possible. <laughs> grabe. Grabe yun, grabe yun. Grabe yun. That, that, that was the highlight of the episode, alright? That was the highlight of the episode. The two, problem, it was pulled off by the two weakest members of the group. Si Hoodlum at saka si, uh, si Swindler. But in the, um, Uh, in the manga, she's called Ordinary Person. Okay? Si Ordinary Person. Oh, what is called Ordinary Person na? Kasi, she doesn't look like a swindler talaga eh. Talagang, uh, napagkama na na siya, kaya siya nakulong eh. Okay? If you would, if you would go back to episode 1, that's how she got, that's how she got her 7 to jail eh. Napagkama na lang siya eh. Napagkama na siyang si swindler eh. Yung tunay na swindler. So, ayun nga, si Ordinary Person at si Hoodlum. <laughs> The two weakest members of the group, sila pa ang naka, sila pa ang nakadali sa dalawang buton. Okay? So they were able to board the train. Tapos sinabi ni, sinabi ng pusa, the real challenge starts here. Ayun na. Nakatini siya na sa door. That was the, that was the, uh, the final scene of the episode. The other six, mukhang they're raring to go na naman eh. Kasi mga, mga criminal eh. Okay? They're criminals. Six of them, the six most hardened criminals you could ever find in uh in the the Akodama Drive universe okay so they're raring to go <clears throat> overall it's um it's a damn good episode <laughs> it's a damn good episode okay um tapos merong uh what you call this compl- contemplative moment si si ordinary person dito eh, si, si si swindler all right si swindler bakit siya, bakit siya nasama sa grupong to? Bakit siya napa, napasubo ng, napasubo na, ng ganitong kagrabe? Alright? So, everything worked out. The plan went, the, the mission was, mission accomplished. Okay? Pero the bigger challenge is, um, is yet to come. Sinabi ng, sinabi ng pusa. Okay? It was a damn good episode. Okay? The way it was, um, The way it was told. Like, <laughs> woo, <laughs> oh, you know, you know, we're gonna make a gumagal. Medyo gumagal na ako sa loob ng sa loob ng katawan ko eh. Medyo gumagal na. Tega, tega. Gumagal na ako eh. I could, I just couldn't show it on on camera kasi medyo wala uh, iya rin ako eh. But it was a damn good episode, okay? It was a really damn good episode. Grabe, hair racing. Okay. No wonder it's entitled Mission Impossible. Okay? No wonder it's entitled Mission Impossible. Talaga, it really reminded me of um of that uh, of that classic TV show I uh, I came to know and love during uh, during the late 80s and early 90s. Yung reboot yung bumal, yung reunion season of Mission Impossible noon. All right? Talaga ganun. Ganun ganun ka hair racing ang bawat ang bawat episode noon. It was that hair racing. It just, it sort of took me back to those days. It just took me back to those days. So, Akodama Drive Episode 3. Two thumbs up. Woo! A hair racing two thumbs up. <laughs> Grave. And, and Doctor looked sexy as ever, okay? She looked as sexy as ever. All right? Si, si Cutthroat, ang galing ng ano niya dun eh. Yung technique niya kung paano ma... Paano ma i... Tawag dito? Paano ma disable yung bawat force shield na ganun? Ang galing eh. So, bawat... Bawat dagger na tapo niya, pa! That's one shield. Tapos, yung isang dagger, yung isang dagger niya, i... Ipupukon naman yun sa isang dagger na nauna. So, second shield down. So, habang keeps on pushing it hanggang sa nakaabot dun sa pangatlo. 
And at that time, nawala na siya ng dagger. So, ginawa ni E-Ordinary Person, kinuha yung isang drone ni, ni Hacker, ginawang baseball, yun ang pinampukulo sa huling dagger. So, natulak lahat. So, na, tawag dito, na, napindu din yung button, yung red button na yun. Okay? Ito si Hoodlum naman, he, he had a clumsy, he had a really clumsy way in, in opening, in pressing that button. So, nabunot lahat ni, di ba, nabunot lahat ni Brawler, yung mga, uh, yung, what you call this, yung pillars na nagkocontrol sa, ano pa na yun eh, it's not, it's not just one force shield, kumbaga seven different siya, pitong magkakaiba, so, pinagbubunot niya lahat yun, sa lakas ni Brawler. So, three seconds, so ginawa ni Hoodlum, ayun, tumakbo na para pindutin, e natisod. O yung mukha niya, yung mukha niya nasalpak lang sa button. It, it, was, it was actually both a hair-raising and funny moment, okay? Ganito, ganito kabopol si Hoodlum, alright? Ganito kabopol, okay? So, it's sort of a, yung moment din, it's parang, it's uh, sort of a, uh, what's call this? Kumaga, teamwork moment eh. Isang, isang taong kasing bobol ni Hoodlum at isang taong kasi, kasing inosente ni, ni ordinary person. So, they inadvertently uh, became a team. Pa, sabay, sabay nila na, uh, napindot yung dalamang red buttons. So, gumana yung elevator para makapasok sila. Brawler, Doctor, tsaka si Hacker. Ah, Hacker. Si Hoodlum. So, na, sabay-sabay sila nakapasok sa train. So, yun nga. The, uh, the real challenge is ahead, sabi nga ng pusa. And, tinister na next episode. The title is Speed. Alright? That classic action movie from the 90s. Kung saan sumigat si, ano, sumigat si Keanu Reeves. Okay? It's what, it, it's the movie that made Keanu Reeves a, a bankable action star. Okay. It's what made Keanu Reeves an action star, actually. Speed. Classic yung movie na yun. And I'm, and I'm sort of glad they, uh, they made it into a, a title of this, uh, of an anime episode. Kasi I, I actually saw that movie. I actually saw that movie. Talagang classic siya. Speed. So again, uy, may <laughs> Ako Dama Drive, episode 3. Two thumbs up! Two thumbs up, folks! Mga ka-lifestyle, two thumbs up! Alright, Higurashi 2020 Episode 4. I wasn't supposed to, uh, to make another review of this, but I just found out in the end, in the, in the, I'm currently video, I'm currently editing the video right now. The audio is gone. I don't know why. So, I'm making this, uh, I'm making this review, I'm making the review again. So, well, overall, it's a, one of the most disturbing episodes I have ever watched. Okay. One of the most disturbing episodes I have ever seen. Okay? Talagang... Parang natotrauma pa nga ako hanggang ngayon eh. Alright? I've been 24 hours removed from what... From from watching it. Okay? It's one of the most disturbing ever. I've, I've ever seen. Grabe, ang pagka-disturbing. Imagine, okay? Two 11-year-old kids killing each other. In an anime. Alright? So... Uh, I'm hoping, uh, I hope that you could see my, uh, the scenes right now from, from the original review. Yeah, that's my, or yeah, that's part of the original review. What you're hearing right now is, well, I read, I redid the audio, natural, right? So, Higurashi 2020 episode 4, two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. And a big toe. And again, it's one of the most disturbing, one of the most disturbing anime episodes I've ever seen. Okay? Grabe. 
And I thought 2020 was crazy, right? Higurashi just made it even crazier for me. The King's Avatar Season 2, Episode 6. Again, uh, as a result of the great mishap in the last stream. Sort of a, um, what you call this? Sort of a uh, reality check episode for, for the rest of the competition, all right? Overall, it's, um, uh, what you call this? It's a really good, it's a good episode. It's a good episode. It was Yeju's uh, avenue of get of getting back at the team that dumped him. The team that made him retire in the first place. In an excellent era. Umaga nakaganti na sarito. Although he doesn't want to admit it. Okay? Although he doesn't want to admit it to his uh, to his new team, to his new friends. Pero deep inside, uh, I could see it. Eh. I could see it in his uh, in his anime face na nakaganti Yan yeah, siguro nakaganti na ako sa inyo mga hayop kayo. <laughs> I put I I sent this team to greater heights and this is the thanks I get. Okay. Here is my your welcome. <laughs> so gano na gano yung uh that that was the gist of the entire episode. All right. So for me it, it felt satisfying kasi nakaganti na yung ano eh, yung yung lead character eh, sa excellent era. So, whew. so let's read it. The King's Avatar, Season Two, Episode Six. Yeah, two thumbs up. Okay, a sweet revenge type of two thumbs up. Okay, so I never thought uh, the uh, the stream was this worse. Uh, yesterday's stream. Kung mauulit ko lang. Kung mauulit ko lang. Yes, here I am again. <laughs> I'm standing on 1 million lives episode 4. Well, hindi akong papatumpik-tumpik pa. Overall, this is a uh, uh, comeback episode. Okay, kasi sa... The previous episode, I gave a this rating. I gave it this rating, episode three. <clears throat> Bumawi ng gusto ang, ang anime na to sa episode four. Bakit? Well, heads were heads were being cut off. Um, <laughs> uh, Yusuke is at is at his most pathetic again. Okay, which which makes the anime really funny. And they've gained a new ally. Okay? Ibago ko silang kasama ngayon. So, story-wise, okay. They focused on just one quest now. Which is good. Okay? So, para yung... <clears throat> yung... Yung, yung utak na mga, mga viewers lang dun lang. Okay? Not, not to the point of having tunnel vision, okay? Pero... The flow of the story is right there. It's on point, it's on target. Not unlike episode 3. Oh, Alright. And, yung, uh, of course, the fight sequences. Wow, okay. A Berserker's head just got cut off. <laughs> and, uh, of course, the, yeah, the humor elements, okay? The humor elements are there. Okay? Medyo nawa, medyo nag-tone down uh, ang humor element nung... Uh, episode 3 which which is one of the reasons why I gave it this so I'm standing on a million live I'm standing on 1 million lives episode 4 two thumbs up na okay two thumbs up uh talagang uh, uh the anime made a comeback in this episode so it was really entertaining okay it was really fun to watch it was so fun to watch Alright, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 21. Ano ba masasabi ko sa episode na to? Um, a rather wacky episode. 
and wacky it was all right the duels uh duel was um rather silly but uh great to watch nonetheless and uh the flow of the story okay it's really it's really good but there's a certain silly that i like i said kanina there's a certain silliness to it all right that's probably unnecessary for a for a duel but don't get me wrong the duel was well scripted okay it was well scripted okay and of course the um uh all this the plot okay, how it started it's really good i was i was totally unexpected the trap door the trap door from within go uh yuga's house that was totally unexpected i did not expect that i did not expect for go to have a to have a trap door even there sa mismong pamamahay ni yuga meron din sila dun all right it, it was funny okay but the silliness was uh, was required for the uh, for the funny parts all right but for me it's um, somewhat unnecessary for the duel all right so Yu-Gi-Oh 7's episode 21 one thumb up okay same rating i gave it in the original stream okay so hey guys let me remind you um whatever rating i gave on the stream forget about that this is the new rating all right so again Yu-Gi-Oh 7's episode 21 one thumb up King's Raid Episode 4 I can only uh, I could only talk about its highlight Castle loses it <laughs> Okay Castle loses it in this episode Kasi Meron silang nakaibigan na parang pet na Triant Yung boy na puno ba- Baby pa lang, parang bata uh, They encounter a demon Napatay ito ng demon In front of Castle That's where he loses it Okay <laughs> He kills the demon and and tries to cut it up into so many pieces. Okay? So, talagang pinigilan na siya ng mga pinigilan na siya ng mga kasama niya. Tsaka pati, pati yung bago nilang uh, yung bago nilang kaibigan, yung bago nilang kasama. Pati yun. Yung talagang uh, yung talagang amo ng ng batang triant na to. So, wow. Okay, I never thought he had it in him. Okay, Castle surprised me in this episode, actually. Alright? Castle surprised me in this episode. I never knew he can be this ruthless. Okay? And uh, the, loss of an, the loss of an innocent life was his motivation. Talagang nabaliw na sa galit yung tao. Okay? Nabaliw siya sa galit dito. And wow, what's makes it a really good episode okay but notwithstanding that uh yung their first meeting with with the elves ayan okay uh, that's the uh what you call this the starting point they did not they they got off on somewhat the wrong foot pero in in the end they realized they were allies okay they realized uh they were allies so king's raid episode four Two thumbs up, okay? <laughs> and Castle loses it. Two thumbs up. Shit, I never thought... Uh, I never... Uh, honestly, uh, seriously. I never thought Castle had it in him. Okay, He can be this ruthless. What more if he wields his father's legendary sword? Deadly! Ako, right now, it's something that I... Uh, something that, that I um, overlooked during the stream. During the stream yesterday. Wano? <laughs> Imagine kung ganito siyang karutles if he already has the the Holy Sword of Ea. Yung yung espada ng tatay niya, yung pinampatay doon sa Dark Lord. Imagine if he has this sword already and he's that ruthless. Ooh. 
So again, King's Raid Episode 4, two thumbs up. Alright. You got any Galactic Shark. Alright. Jujutsu Kaisen Episode 4. Putang in the shot. <laughs> Grabe. The episode where Sukuna showed his wow, okay? His ruthlessness and why he is the deadliest sorcerer who ever the deadliest sorcerer who ever lived. Okay? Kung bakit yung mga jujutsu are they're, they're doing everything they can para hindi siya mabuhay uli. Okay? Now we know why. Pinaglaro niya yung, yung kapa niya spe- As I was saying that um, before nawala yung audio, pinaglaro niya yung kapa niya special grade na curse. Si Suko na. In the end, he kills it. He gets his own he gets his finger yung parang may may tinatago pala siyang yung special grade yun may tinatago palang daliri niya okay he gets that and well the episode ended with Itadori not na, not getting out problema <laughs> problema to alright so overall wow okay uh, the flow of the story and and I love the way they um, they they presented Sukuna here. Okay, almost the entire episode, Sha, ang focus. Sha naging focus ng episode. The entire, almost the entire episode. Okay, kasi pinalabas ni yun eh. Pinalabas ni Utadori dahil talagang napakalakas ang alaban eh. Special grade eh. Hindi hindi nila kaya tatlo. So, pin, yun nga, pinataas na niya sila, yung dalawa niya kasama. Ayun, pinakawa na niya si Suko na. Puta, pinaglaro. Akala mo eh. Akala mo, manika nila laro eh. Pinag, pinagtatanggal pa yung mga, mga braso, mga braso pa eh. <laughs> Grabe. Tapos, nag, tapos nagmisto lang sa Gipsal. Pinaghati niyang ganun. <laughs> Pinaghati niyang ganun. Alright? That's how ruthless he is. Dito pinakita talaga ng episode how ruthless Sukuna was, okay? When he was still living, okay? Now, if you're a Jujutsu, would you like would you like for him to come out again? I think not, <laughs> okay? So, may magandang tayo talaga, may magandang tayo talaga kung bakit uh, ayaw siyang buhay na rin ng mga, jujutsu, mga modern day Jujutsu eh. So, anyway, magandang flow ng story ah. Fight scenes over the top, Alright? Over the top uli and um, yung yung overall plot maganda. Okay? Maganda. And I never expected the ending of that episode. Akala ko normally uh, makakabalik pa si Itadori. And ang tagal eh. So, tumuntuwa si Suko na. Isa, isa na ibig sabihin nung kasi malaya na siya. So, let's see in the, ex- the next episode. But, for, for this episode, well, Jujutsu Kaisen episode 4. Two thumbs up and a big toe. Okay? <laughs> two thumbs up and a big toe. Talagang wow. Alright? Napa wow. The episode... Well, the episode was mind blowing. The episode was really mind blowing. Grabe. Again, Jujutsu Kaisen episode 4. Two thumbs up. Alright? Two thumbs up. Yashahime episode 4. Well, Parang ano siya, parang siyang period of adjustment episode for for the entire anime, okay? Uh, which means, it's a setup episode. Kasi, nag-fit in na yung dalawa eh, si Moroha at si Suetsuna. Suetsuna learned to play the violin, alright? Alright? She's learned to play the violin. And Moroha has become a um, Tai Chi instructor. Tai Chi. 
Mga ganun. Diba? Eh, mas may alam siya kasi she was, uh, she lived 450 years ago. <laughs> so, yung pinaka-basic na Tai Chi alam niya. Alright. So, eventually, they were able to, they were trying to get back to the feudal era kasama na si, ano, kasama na si Towa. Yun pala, nakibag-deal pala si Moro ha kay Roothead, which is, which has embedded itself into the Tree of Ages. So, one thing led to another. Uh, dinobol, kung maga, dinobol cross ni Moro kasi si Roothead. They eventually kill him. Pero, not without the egging, the egging on of the spirit of the Tree of Ages. So, may bago, so inadvertently, kalaban nila ang Tree of Ages. <laughs> Alright? So, uh, final scene, well, I don't know if, I don't know if that's Kikyo or Kagumi. Kasi alam, na, alam, alam naman natin na magkamukha sila eh. Siya yung naka-encase doon sa spirito ng Tree of Ages. And well, si Shumoro makes a cameo. Pero hindi, eh, hindi pinakita yung mukha niya eh. Hindi pinakita. Overall, well, um, it's a good episode. Okay? It's a really good episode. Kasi maganda yung transition. Okay? Maganda yung transition niya. Uh, yung flow ng story, maayos naman. Maayos naman nag-transition yung story from fitting in to getting back. Maayos naman. And, um, fight scenes, wala na ako masasabi. Talagang vintage Inuyasha siya. Vintage Inuyasha. Alright? So, Yashahime episode 4, for Kagome and Sashomaru's sake. Two thumbs up. <laughs> Pero, but, don't get me wrong, okay? I did not give the two thumbs up because of um, Sashomaru make, Sashomaru's cameo appearance and of course, the, the Tree of Ages uh, posing as uh, posing as Kikyo. Okay? Fan service. Okay? Marami, may mga fan service moments kasi ang Yashahime, pero, hindi kasing uh, hindi kasing dalas ng Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens, alright? So, kasi, uh, I am an Inuyasha fan, pero hindi ganun katindi. Not so much as that I can buy a, a poster like that, okay? Yan, Yu-Gi-Oh! Yan, talagang, talagang rabid fan ako ng Yu-Gi-Oh! Kaya, meron akong ganyan. Pero tamang-tama lang, tamang-tamang timpla, alright? Tamang timpla. Usually, mga setup episodes, yan ang, uh, I, nor- I would uh, usually give a lower rating than two thumbs up. Pero, this is one of those, this is one of those rare exceptions. Yashahime episode 4. So again, Yashahime episode 4, two thumbs up. Right? Two thumbs up. Warlord of Sigurd Drifa, Episode 4. Probably the anime's funniest episode. <laughs> despite, um, despite having the dilemma of facing five pillars, okay, they had uh, a really funny way of doing it, okay? Uh, lots of humor elements, okay? From unexpected places. Mala, ano eh, yung approach nila, this time, mala Gintama eh. It reminded me of Gintama. Okay, so, ngayon ko lang, ngayon ka lang naalala eh. Bakit? Parang, parang mayroong anime na ganitong brand of humor. Yun, yun pala. Gintama. Yung brand of humor na pinakita nila sa episode 4, mala Gintama ang dating, okay? So, edo, ano eh. Uh, kasi, well, the, the four girls are being treated like an idol group kasi eh. The, the gender, the gen, the, the predominant gender of that base is male. So, sila, sila ang naging, ano, kumbaga eh, sila ang naging, uh, shall we say, sex object, alright? Uh, uh, para ayoko sabihin kasi mga bata pa eh, alright? But anyway, that's where the, that's where the funny moments, uh, that's where the funny moments originated, alright? Their, their sexual innuendos over over these four girls. The four Valkyries. Okay? 
So, but they eventually found a way to to take out all the five pillars. E apat lang sila. Nagkaroon sila ng isa pang kasama. Alright? So, that's the... Uh, uh, that was the highlight of the of the episode. Notwithstanding the, all the funny moments that happened. All the funny things that happened during that episode. Okay? Talaga, talaga natawa ako. Natawa ako. It reminded me of Gintama. Okay? Ganong, ganong level of humor. Ganong level, ganong level of humor yung na-achieve ng episode na to. <laughs> Alright? So, yun nga. Overall, it's a really good episode um, in terms of yung action and of course, the comedy. Okay? Yung yung blend ng action at comedy panggintama eh <laughs> panggintama so Warlords of Secret Trifa episode 4 two thumbs up syempre alright it was a for me it was a bit of a fa- bit of fan service kasi maraming ano eh um reminiscent of gintama yung yung mga humor parts nila rito eh Alright, yung blend ng action at comedy eh, re- talagang reminded me of Gintama. So again, Warlords of Secret Trifa Episode 4. Who comes up? But I wonder who uh, I wonder who the fifth mem who that fifth girl is. Hindi, hindi pa hindi pa nagpakilala ng tulu yan eh. So we're gonna find out in the next episode, okay? More Yard the Patriot, Episode 3. <clears throat> the last time I saw a kid think like a demon was in The Omen. Okay? This episode reminded me of The Omen. Okay, that movie. Grabe. Talaga ba si William James Moriarty? Oh. Bata pa na po, ta demon yun ako mag-isip. Talagang, uh, being a toddler, being uh, being that young, he's already an evil genius. Okay? We all know he will eventually become the Lord of Crime, the arch enemy of Sherlock Holmes. Okay? In terms of, uh, well, overall, okay? overall, it is a, a hellishly good episode. Okay? Pinagplanuhan nila yung kamatayan ng magulang ng original ng Moriarty, si Albert pinagplanuhan nila yung pagkamatay ng magulang at saka yung tunay niyang kapatid para mapasa para mapa mapasa kanila lahat ng kayamanan ng Moriarty clan grabe they made it look like uh, they made it look like a an accident okay? pero talagang they murdered those three talaga pinatay ni talaga pinatay nila grabe my mind was blown away in that episode. Okay? Imagine three young boys, okay, would um, would stage a murder like that, a murder that complicated. At the main architect, of course, si William. Up to now, I'm still I'm still mind blown. Okay, I'm still mind blown by that episode. So, slow flow of the story, plot. Um, even the um, uh, what you call this? Even the uh, well, even the graphics, okay. Albert kills his own brother. Yung talagang tunay niyang kapatid. Siya mismo ang pumatay. Binigay sa kanya ni <laughs> Binigay sa kanya ni William yung murder weapon. Isang isang paalang na silya na na matulis sa na metulis sa dulo. Grabe. And that episode also creeped me out. Okay? That um, that particular moment in the episode, I thought, okay, I am totally creeped out by this episode. It's one of the most disturbing, okay? Aside from Higurashi 2020 episode 4, this is one of the most disturbing I've ever I've ever seen. This is one of the most disturbing. Alright? Uh which is which, which which makes it hellishly good okay? which makes it a hellishly good episode so Moriarty the Patriot episode 3 two thumbs up and like in the stream 
a big toe. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was that fucking good. Okay, it was that fucking good. Whew. My mind was my I don't know. My mind is still blown away by uh, by what I saw in that episode. Okay. So again. Moriarty the Patriot, episode 3. Two thumbs up. And Daniel, two thumbs up. Ikibukuro Westgate Park, episode 4. More like a... Um, uh, no action sequences right now. Uh, the only action sequence I saw there was um, uh, Makoto, Makoto being beaten up <laughs> uh, in a place that is not that is not the G Boys turf. So yun nga. Uh, Inimbisiga niya kasi ano eh, yung pagkamatay ng isang uh, ng isang gangmate nila yung nag yung bumubog sa kanya. Okay. Uh, yung, turns out na Yung namatay, just simp- simply live the life of violence, alright? So, um, this episode had a very deep moral story, very deep moral lesson, okay? Well, as they say, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. That's exactly what happened. Although, yung pumatay dito, eh, ano eh, nagkataon lang. Uh, nagkato na napatay siya. Uh, he was he was uh, he was just pushed down the stairs kasi binubugbog niya yung yung asawa. Binubugbog niya yung asawa. Yung babae ang nakapatay. So as a ma- I would I would call that self de- self defense. Okay? Pero uh ni Montoni lang tinago yung sikreto na sila na yung, sila sila talaga pumatay nakapatay okay it wasn't intentional actually so nevertheless he had a, he, he made a violent end okay so yun nga, uh, the guy's father realized na his son lived an an idiotic life okay nang bubugbog ng babae kasama pa sa gang puro kalokohan lang pala alam so uh, Makoto just told the father that that if he were his son, he'd be proud of him. Kasi he, uh, he realized hindi na dapat ipagpunyag yung anak ko. Because he, because of the way he lived. Alright? That, that was, that, it had a really deep moral lesson. Ito, okay? It, it was the most, probably so, so far, it was it was it is this anime's most profound episode right humanga ako lalo sa Ikibukuro Westgate Park when uh, when they aired this episode proof na you don't have to uh, you don't have to teach a moral lesson you don't you don't need, you don't need violence to teach a moral lesson all right it's a, overall it's a really good episode May napulutan, may, napulutan tayo, may napulutan tayong aral lahat dito. Right? So, Ikibukuro Westgate Park Episode 4. Two thumbs up pa rin. Alright? Two thumbs up. Okay, two thumbs up. Well I, well, I hope that anime puts out more episodes like that. Kasi, uh, kids these days need it. They, they, need, they need moral lessons like that in anime. Pero, uh, <clears throat> don't get me wrong. I would still want the uh, I would still want the action sequences here. Cha yung the screw job, <laughs> the screw job uh, modus ng ng G boys. I uh, really love I really love to see that again. The way they the way they did it in episode one. I would love to see that again. But for now, again, Ikibukuro Westgate Park episode four. Two thumbs up, okay? Two thumbs up. Noblesse episode four. Kind of a um a 
uh, an episode of humanity, alright? Kasi, uh, kumbaga, they're trying to 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 make uh, Regis and Sarah fit in, yung magkapatid na albino na vampire. And, they're slowly succeeding, okay? They got to meet new friends on their own, okay? Pero, unbeknownst to them, puta na, yung maling dalawang, dalawang membro ng ano, dalawang membro ng Union Strike Force na, na humahanting kay Rizel, okay? So, final scene, well, Baka magkikita-kita itong mga to. <laughs> Alright? Baka magkikita-kita ang mga to. And uh, the actual final scene sa- shows na sinabi ni Sarah, my connection with Regis has been severed. So, naging concerned si Rizal at si Frankenstein. I- isa, lang, isa lang yung ibig sabihin nun. Nasa pangalit talagang taong yun. Alright? Regis has, has been known is a, is, a power, is a powerful vampire. Okay? And Frankenstein and Rizal knows this. They both know that he can take care of his own. But for that, to, for Sarah to some to say something like that, ba? Nagi concern tulo yung dalawa. <laughs> Nagi concern tulo yung dalawa. So overall, magandang flow of story. Okay. Even though it's a setup, even though I would uh, I would call it a setup episode, pero uh, um. For an enemy of noblesse's caliber, it's a really good setup episode. Okay? Oh, siyempre, alam natin natin, kinostage yung dalawang high schooler. Kinuha pa si Regis ng, ng strike force na to. So, something's gotta give in the next episode. Something's gotta give. Alright? Something's got to give. So, yan. Flow of story, ayos. Okay? Ayos siya. And yung... Uh, what do you call this? Yung plot. Somewhat unexpected ending. Somewhat unexpected turn pala. Somewhat unexpected turn. So, as I was saying, yung flow ng story, ayos. Okay? It's a, for me, it's a big setup episode. Alright? So, noblesse episode 4, one thumb up lang. Okay? One thumb up lang. Not much, um, uh, not much intrigue as in the first three episodes, okay? The one I miss here is yung, yung, yung angasan ni, nila M21 at ni, ano eh, ni, ni Regis eh. Pero, we all know, uh, M21 is being held hostage. He hostage din siya ng, ng grupong to eh. Alright? He hostage din siya So, for one episode, nawala yung angasan, nawala yung angasan nila ni Regis, Okay? So, I miss that. Okay, I miss that. But, don't get me wrong. Okay? Do not get me wrong. It is still a big setup episode. Okay? So, again, Noblesse episode 4, one thumb up. Okay? One thumb up lang. Alright? 